normally about a 63% ago? Uh, I think it's like 6%. I was reading a comic book at that dog. It was really good. Here. I think I had like chili cheese fries. <laughs> 6 percent most definitely. Oh, it's at 60. I was wrong. So it's the color that alarms me, and I think that applies for a lot of people as well. Yes, humans live with dinosaurs, but also have a cell phones too. But I have assurance that I'll be connected with the world and able to escape the world at the same time. Probably somewhere in the 80s. I don't, I don't think I felt really any particular way about it. My initial reaction is like, yay. But like that, yay, yeah, like, yay, yeah, it's back on, I guess. I probably only get involved once a warning has been issued and I'm told that it's gonna be like shut down soon. So I guess, yeah, once it gets to low power mode, I get a little, little antsy. Anything below 50% and I begin to get antsy. Um, yeah, 50% full set panic will go in around about 35. Probably about half. Probably at 50%. Helpless. But uh, when it's like 98%, I start recharging straight away. It's like uh, death row, you know, any last meals that you want to get. And you're like, yeah, let me go on Facebook, <laughs> or Instagram, <laughs> to see one last image or my email to see if something happened before I be in the dark. But I don't have feelings, I think I just do it, you know, I need to charge it or and sometimes I have the charge in the car so I charge it there and... You know, sometimes there's a sense of anxiety if I don't have my phone charger on me and I know that I'm going to have to eventually start frantically making new friends in order to acquire a phone charger and finding a plug and it's a whole scenario. It's, it's interesting to me like how ubiquitous they are and how easily and often you see them and then at the same time people actually don't want to capture dreams at all. Like they're mostly looking to disregard them or like get rid of them as much as they can. So it was kind of like a contradiction in that. They tell you that you should charge your phone when it gets to about like halfway and not to charge it more than 80. I think then you just kind of face it and defeat then you know that you'll be able to charge hopefully your phone within the next following hours uh 10 percent or lower i get mm. a little worried yeah <laughs> people are just like popping by on the caves still a girl <laughs> scared well scared and it always happens when i'm out and about and absolutely nowhere to pluck the damn thing in i'm like oh i need to charge it so it's like i don't know it's like, yeah, 1% on I want to say, oh, I need to charge it sometimes. I'm, I live at charging all night, so when I look at the phone through the day, sometimes I oh, man, I'm I using all the, the, the battery. Well, there's always baseline anxiety with your phone battery percentage, but I would say in the 30s? Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a sense of like relief that the burden's no longer on me. It's like up to you know, source energy to uh, replenish what's been taken. And I think like, I don't know, it's just one of those things where you're finally off the hook, so. A little anxious, mm -hmm. but you know, it happens. <laughs> well, luckily uh, the convenience of people not answering phones and like being delayed by like you know the non-clingy rule of being business-like is cool so like you don't have to worry because you, know, you get like an hour or 30 minutes before somebody start responding like you're not re answering me back or whatever you know so and then i start to close all the apps and then uh, i realize i've got a million apps open like the calculator and stuff that i used like a week ago and and uh and but there's like this low power mode now on, on iphones it's good that helps. Relieved and bored, because then I can't do anything with it for the next 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Like 30-something percent. I have to run it to the edge, but not too far. The wire is so short that if I have to answer the phone, I have to kind of talk like a dwarf with my back banded, you know. 
I got a new phone because it was not charging and I bring it to the store and I bring it to another friend and he just said they need you to clean it and they clean it and I said oh no it's charging mm -hmm. That's, so it's like I feel that my relationship with phones are funny um I feel anxious and then embarrassed about that anxiety once you see it going red you pretty much immediately think I should probably plug this in and it's usually around 15 to 20 percent I'm not gonna be back home for a while and that kind of sucks but it actually died the other day but I was about to go back home so it was cool at the back of my mind I realize I'm gonna have to start altering the, the way that I uh, am existing in the world so that the phone takes precedence part of me feels responsible and part of me blames whoever manufactured it to not keeping up to my lazy standards. Um, Going to like two minute, uh, uh, two minute warning, two minute offense, you're like, all right, I want to answer the phone call when it's important about if I need to go somewhere or like a text message. Mm -hmm. you know? So you gotta have like clock management because those phones still go out while we use them. <laughs> <laughs> Eight percent. I feel relief and then embarrassed about that relief. I, I like to plug it in when it's maybe around like sixty or something, just in case you know I'm gonna have to need it later. It makes me feel like as if I may lose out on something important, so I immediately look for the nearest charger. I can understand the reason you don't want to be cut off from the rest of the world. 